A national poll released today shows many of Americans' teens are sleep deprived. They're getting to bed late and their grades and safety are at risk as they are nodding off at school and behind the wheel. And as Sue Bredding shows us, sleep experts say many parents don't realize the problem it may not even be their kids' fault. It's 7.15 a.m. and teens at this Scottsdale High School are arriving with books, lunch in a cooler, and energy drinks and coffee? Yeah, it's because I'm up late last night from work. What's your first period class like? What does that look like? Um, it's a whole bunch of kids asleep. I admit I sleep in first period too, but it's, um, it is pretty hard to get up in the morning. The bell rings at 7.30 a.m. here five days a week. I think if the schedule is later, then kids will be more rested in classes and be able to focus with the teachers easier. And the staff at American Sleep Diagnostics would give him an A for understanding what's going on. They help people of all ages with sleep problems. In a single night, they often diagnose disorders by monitoring a patient's sleep. Their research shows with teens, they function best between 11 a.m. and 10 p.m. There's great clinical data to suggest that a child's biological rhythm, specifically a teenager's actually, pushes them a little bit later at night and wants them to sleep a little bit later during the day. Actually, their biological clock is what's telling them to do that. It's not that uh, they just want to. And a National Sleep Foundation poll shows why parents are being urged to make sleep a priority for their kids. More than half of teen drivers say they've driven drowsy. Almost 30% report falling asleep once a week during school. More than 20% fall asleep doing homework. And here's something for parents to think about. Sleep experts say sending your kid to school without a good night's sleep is just like sending them to school without breakfast. In the Sleep Foundation study, more than half of teens said they go to bed after 11 o'clock. Dr. Bruce says these kids who are at school at 7.30 a.m. should probably be heading to bed about 9 p.m. the night before because eight and a half to nine and a quarter hours of sleep each night is what teenagers need. Remember, they're still growing and their brains are still maturing, so we really need to see them get a lot of sleep. And Dr. Bruce says parents should make sure their teen has a relaxing sleep environment with no TV watching. Yeah, right. Uh, allowed for one hour before bedtime. He says the warning signs your kids need more sleep include your child wanting a caffeinated drink before school and grades that are lower in their morning classes.